Hi everyone! I made a little bit of a different video today. I just wanted to show you guys what goes on behind the scenes and what goes into making my tutorials. So first off, of course, I have to get everything prepped. So usually a few days before we're ready to film, I'll get all my ingredients together and get my cookies pre-baked and ready to be filmed. I don't make my icing quite yet because I like to make it nice and fresh, as it works better for me. Then the day of filming, we get our lights ready. My husband is a great help and he does all the filming and editing for me. And he also helps me stage all the lights and get everything ready to be filmed. As I've gone on in my cookie journey, I've realized that good lighting makes a really big difference. If you guys want to know with the products that I use, like the camera and the lights um, and things like that, I will try and link everything below the video in the description so you can check them out there. You kind of learn as you go along and what you need. I kind of pick and choose exactly like the way I think about my cookie supplies is kind of what would really make my life easier and make things better for me. As much as I want to show you guys the whole process and everything from the start to finish in my tutorials, there's only so much time you know, that somebody has to watch a video. So there's a lot of prep work that goes in, not only you know making and baking the cookies ahead of time, but also making and coloring the icing. It also takes me several hours to do. So there's all these little things behind the scenes that go on before I'm actually sitting down ready to decorate. And what you guys see in the videos is me having a cookie ready. You know, I got my piping bags and I'm starting to decorate but hours and hours go into all the prep work just to get to that point which if you bake cookies and you decorate them yourselves you know that you know by the time we sit down and actually start decorating cookies we've already spent a good chunk of our time you know prepping and getting everything ready so when we started out in the beginning or even when i started making videos by myself for instagram or facebook I would use my cell phone, you know, had a little stand there. But as we started getting on into more tutorials and trying to get our content out better, I really wanted people to see the details of the cookie decorating to really get a feel of how to do it and, and me being able to show you exactly what I needed to show. And so slowly we were able to add more lights, you know, to improve the image, get better quality cameras instead of using cell phones anymore. And then you know, getting a better microphone so you guys could hear me better and just things like that, getting a better editing program. There's so many components that we've made better over time, over the last few years of making videos and especially with the tutorials that, you know, I always want to be improving them so it makes it easier for you guys to see what I'm doing so you can understand better, you can see better. So once we filmed everything and we ha were happy with the clips and happy with the cookies, it's going down to editing. And so my husband usually does editing and then I will do the voice. So basically he does kind of a pre-edit for me, puts all the clips together, and then I will go ahead and do the audio. So I watch the videos and do the audios at the same time, try to explain as much as possible. We correct the color. You know, sometimes we're doing stuff in the daytime and then by the time we finish, it's nighttime. So the light has changed a little bit. So there's a lot of little corrections. So once you've outlined and everything's dry, you can go ahead and use your flick. So we've kind of worked together with his knowledge and my knowledge to bring you guys the best clips. And then the last stage is basically, you know, staging our cookies for a thumbnail. And, you know, it seems so easy or, or like a fun process, but sometimes it's really, really stressful. And lots of the times we do them very last minute and we're kind of moving things around and grabbing anything that we have around our house to make it more interesting. And then of course, you know, things we learn about is different backgrounds now as well. Like watching some of my videos, I see like, oh, it's, you know, too similar of a background or we didn't have, you know, the right countertop color or this and that. So we've started trying to find something that will be a good background for us that's not going to get um, greasy from the cookies if it's paper or you know something that's not too shiny so that will help out when you know we have kind of white icing or something you know in the lighter colors that will make it better seen when you guys are watching the video so we're always looking for improvements always try to read as much as i can of the comments to see where we can improve to make Little Cookie Co. the place to go when people need help with their cookies, 
and I hope you enjoyed this video, something a little bit different and a peek into our lives of how we make these tutorials. And I really appreciate all the love and support that I've gotten over the years. And as always, see you in the next video. Happy baking. Thank you.